Yo, my dudes, what's going on? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into Castle. Yes, another episode of Castle. Um, we are on season one, episode three, and that episode is called Hedge Fund Homeboys. Um, I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, so far, I'm loving the, the chemistry between Rick and Kate. Um, I love the comedy. I love the seriousness from... Um, each of them individually. I think they work well together. I think there's a love interest um, that, that's brewing in a sense. Um, I know she is a fan of his work and that I know that he is intrigued by her and her story because he is writing a story about her. So um, yeah, very good stuff. But I, like I said, I'll be short and sweet with it. Um, if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point in time, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I can do to better the experience and furthermore entertain you guys. And uh, if you enjoy the video enough, head on over to Patreon. Um, there's about two, three episodes there already as we speak. And it's really good stuff. It's full reactions, uncut, unedited. And um, yeah, really good stuff. Or if not, you could always wait for them to air here. They'll air about once a week. And um, yeah, it's totally up to you guys. Um, but definitely give me feedback. Definitely continue to um, like and subscribe and just join the ride. Join um, join all the reactions that I have to show, shows that I never, never thought that I would watch, but um, that I have been enjoying um, up to this time. But without further ado, let's dive on in. Let's get it started and let's uh, see what uh, Castle has. In store for us this episode with the funniness um but yeah let's uh let's do it let's uh you know the rules let's just dive in and uh right no when was the last time you saw your son alive yesterday uh, when he left for school do you know maybe where he went after he was usually with his friends i'm gonna he go out and try to him? solve these Most crimes before or at someone else's place they solve them i want to see if i can get it at reading that was before they moved and everything were any of you with Donnie last night? We hung out after school, but we all headed home around five. Do you know of any reason he'd be in the park? Ah, uh, I want to figure out who, who did it before they figure it out. Codes and protecting your friends. You went to York Prep? How's a Yorkie end up a cop? Things happen. Things like this. Point is, is that if you're trying to protect your friend's memory, I get it. Money problems, how do you support a drug addict? He started dealing in the oh, park. Oh, shit. Classic oh. tragedy. Drug Robert dealer gone wrong. Drug deal gone wrong. Science spirals down. And bad things happen. Of course bad things happen. Otherwise it wouldn't be a tragedy. I'd you be like, Greek you're under arrest. You're under arrest. Because everybody to me looks suspicious. It doesn't make any sense to me either. Whatever that first story was, I can't help but think bad things must have happened to that goat. Beckett. Book him, Beckett. Book him. Mm -hmm. Castle, a smart drug dealer. Everything evolved by not criminals. 911 caller? When are they gonna start considering that what Castle's saying? He's got legit reasons and legit questions and I don't know, his info is good. Hey, detective, get over here. Is this someone you recognize, Mrs. Fell Signal? No, I miss your sparkling personality. What little buddies? I don't know. Could you still be under arrest for them. telling them couple that you're selling? Dudes, couple of chicks. One was Asian. Kind of hot. Okay, so you're telling me that you saw all of them in the park last night, right? Yep. So they lied. And now we got oh. some witnesses. Witnesses who lied. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'd walk in there like, book them, Beckett. You're going. You're going. All of you are going. Anyone know what obstruction is? I believe that's when you deliberately give false information in a criminal case. You go to prison for it. Book them. Max? This is the guy that's gonna tell them everything. Amanda? What happened? Yeah, we were there. You were at the park. Sometimes we go to the park too. We tell our parents we're hanging out at one of our apartments, but we'd actually go to the park and party. And Donnie would would get you whatever you wanted. So what happened? 
we're all just hanging out, having a good time partying. And this guy came over and he's all messed up and he's got this gun. And, and he's, he's yelling at Donnie, where's my money? I need my freaking money. Donnie owes him 200 bucks. And Donnie didn't have it. Number two. I don't think he killed him. Where do you him. recognize him from? The park. He shot Donnie. Uh, okay. I'm not buying it. Nope. Not buying it. Not buying it, not buying it, not buying it. And I can be wrong, but I'm not buying that. That seemed fucking fishy. I'm trying to figure out how to murder someone in their sleep again? Not this. I don't want you to feel you ever have to lie to me. Anything you and your friends have done, believe me, I've done worse. I know. But the good news is, I'm not you. That's I one just mean way you don't have it. to worry. Besides, if I ever got in any real trouble, my friends would be there to bail me out. Because that's what friends do. Come on, man. I'm not buying it, man. I'm not buying it. I know one of them did it. And I think it's the homeboy in the back. Why didn't Donnie's friends just give him the money? What are you talking about? These kids always have cash. You're going to tell me one of them couldn't spring a few bucks to save his life? One of them did it. Yeah. Now, I could be guessing the wrong one. Of the group, but I think it's homie in the back. The one I feel like they want you to think it is hey. is the uh, one in the front that's all nervous. He's the consultant. Consultant. Yeah. Well, uh, shouldn't you consult the consultant before you arrest the wrong guy? We didn't see nothing. We heard the shot, took off. What about the gun? I told you I don't pack. Criminal record with no firearms convictions does sort of give it the ring of truth. If past is prologue, all right, how we all going right, on shut up. <laughs> don't have to answer if you don't want. I know the answer. Anytime, anytime, Beckett. In the back. It was an accident. We were just playing a game. A game. Like Russian roulette. Romy, with a gun? It was just for fun. We, we did it all the time. For fun? Where'd you get the gun, Romy? Spencer had it. We never meant for there to be bullets. We just pointed the gun at each other and pulled the trigger just to see what it felt like. Then, Romy, look at me. Who shot Donnie? Now it's going to be the game of everyone's going to tell. Max. It was Max. Detective Kate Beckett, NYPD. I don't believe I'm it. For Max Heller. Is he here? I don't believe. I don't no. believe Max. I'm his mother. What's going on? I need to see him right now, Mrs. Heller. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. What is it? I have a warrant for his arrest. Beckett. I still don't think it was Max. What? Where? He committed suicide. Kid's not answering his cell phone. Mom thinks maybe he went to the park. So what now? What should I do? What? Yeah. I don't think he killed himself. Or, I mean, I know he killed himself, but I don't think Max did it. I'm still, my, my money's on the guy in the back. The bullets, Spencer. It was just to screw around. If by screwing around you mean intentionally putting a bullet in a chamber knowing that Max was going to shoot Donnie, then nope. yes. Not you Spencer. and I are in total agreement. Detective Beckett. If the point of the game was to shoot without bullets, then why would you have bullets unless you intended to use them? I... This is my but guy right here. You're glad. Yes. We should have just come clean with you guys after the accident. You're damn right you should have. I know. But we didn't want to screw Max over. That's why you fingered the drug dealer, right? Because he's expendable. I told Romy that was wrong. But she wanted to protect Max. And that junkie's the one who got Donnie into dealing in the first place. So where were you when Max was killed? With Spencer at his dad's club. He's got like this like dick way of talking like I feel like. Ask him, he'll confirm it. You guys always have your stories straight. What was so special about that night? Donnie got shot. So the only reason to film it is? You knew something was gonna happen. Bada bing, bada boom. You're, you're guilty, my man. You are guilty. I had a gut feeling. I could be wrong still, but it's got to be him. It's not like that. Brandon's a really good guy. A good guy who kept the only copy of a video he told us you shot. If Brandon kept the video, he had his reasons. 
Brandon told you to shoot the video that night, didn't he? Yeah. You think I did it? Let's see you prove it. Book him, Beckett. Book him. Get him out of here. Dude, the whole time he's been answering you know, like that. Prove things is really tedious. Harder than their phones would have automatically synced. There'd be a record. Ah, see, you think you a step ahead? You're not, Brandon. You're not. We got you, buddy. We got you. You have the right to have a lawyer present, Brandon. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. So, your phone linked with Max's phone the night he was killed. It's a digital fingerprint that places you within 20 feet of Max at the time of his murder. You did say bada bing, if she got to Max with she should arrest you. You took advantage of Max's guilt over Donnie's death and you got him blackout drunk. And then you put a gun in his hand, pressed it against his temple, and then you pulled the trigger. Why would I do boom. that? To cover boom, your boom. tracks over killing Donnie. Realized you had. He wasn't gonna keep it quiet, was he? You're damn right. Even with you telling him I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew you it. I knew it. I knew it. Had been strong enough just to man up. If only Donnie realized he didn't belong with you guys anymore. He and Amanda were through. Well, then none of this would have been necessary. Exactly. Did he just say exactly? Because I heard him say exactly. Yeah, I heard it too. He tricked me. All right, all right, all right. Uh, season one, episode three of Castle. What greatness yet again. Um, I'm going to go out and just say I'm going to give this episode an eight. Um, I thought it was good yet again. Um, anywhere between an eight and a nine, I'll go as far as saying as well. Because, again, it is great chemistry between Beckett, great chemistry with Beckett and uh, Rick, and um, also the chemistry between Rick and his mother and daughter. Like, Rick is the show, obviously, with the title being his last name, but um, it's just great all around. It's just really good stuff um, every episode in so far. I'm enjoying the series. I'm loving it. Um, and let's just do a quick breakthrough. Um Great stuff. Yeah, I like I have nothing but high praise for the show so far. Um, it's caught me completely off guard because, you know, typically when I was told to watch this show, I was like, ah, oh, Castle. Mm. Even with the trailer, I was just kind of like, uh, doesn't look that exciting. Doesn't look like it's something I'll be into. And I was completely taken off guard. Um, this is this has been some great stuff. Um, very, um, again, thriller like who did it? What happened? And um. I solved it before they did. I was like, yo, homeboy in the back is fishy looking. He looks like somebody who pulled the trigger. Um, he didn't pull the trigger, but he set everything up to um, commit the crime. But uh, let's see, we dive in and um, first thing is the death that we run into um, at the park. It did sort of a Viking-like um, Put him on the boat, let him just go through the um pond. And um again, see, like I, I, I feel like I would be like the worst detective ever because I would just think that um yo, we're booking all you guys. You look suspicious, you look suspicious, mom and dad, you both look suspicious, all the friends, you look suspicious, drug dealer, come on in. I'm gonna freaking cuff you up and do all that too. I know you can't do that, but that's the, I mean, my mindset would be that. So I couldn't, I couldn't be, um, I couldn't be a detective, but, um, yeah. So here we're getting, uh, Rick, Rick and, um, Beckett are questioning the, um, the friends and, um, almost, I'm telling you almost instantly the look on his face in the back Brandon's face in the back look like you did it. But you know what I mean? Um, I kind of wanted to like give myself a little more thought on it. The church scene was the scene where I thought, nah, it was definitely you. You were the one who did it. Um, 
but we're here at the crime scene and at the crime scene they they figure that um the suspect was on the bench got shot fell down and was left there and then they came uh picked him up and um moved him away um they first the first suspect is the drug dealer the drug dealer um Pretty much was ruled as the um, person because of the fact that he was at the park. There was a witness saying he was at the park and um, he even admitted that he used to sell to them, the kids and the suspect. Um, and so for a second, it, again, it felt too easy. I'm like, no, it can't be. Um, there's always a catch with the castle episode so far. It can't be um, that being the case. Like, there's no way. I don't think they got the right guy. And um, I was right. This is the scene to me where like I'm in the back like, no, you did it. I'm not buying it. It's you. I know it's you. And um, so then they bring Rami, I believe her name is. And she points out the drug dealer and she's like, oh, the drug dealer did it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and so they thought, case closed. We found our guy. Drug dealer was there. He committed the crime. Um, then we get some good one-on-one -on -one with uh, Rick and his daughter. He's just kind of like opening up, like um, just talking about how she is with her friends, and he says like if um, if I ever were to get into trouble, my friends would bail me out, and that's where Rick was like, "Oh, you're right. If 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 the um suspect got in trouble with the drug dealer, his friends would have bailed him out." It would have had the money on them. So they reopen the case. They kind of um, go searching for more. Um, and the drug dealer is basically saying, like, I was there, but I wasn't there. I didn't see the shooting. It wasn't me. And so then they go to Rami's house, and um, she pretty much sort of gives it away as to um, what was going on. And it being the case of a Russian roulette game gone wrong. Um, so pretty much Max was the person who pulled the trigger, but he had no idea. And um, so they go to Max's house and um, Max's mom is like, he's not here. And then they find out that Max committed suicide, quote unquote. And um, then there's like another scene where... Um, Rick is talking to his daughter and his daughter is um, confessing to um, jumping over the turn. I don't know what they call them turn. The thing you go through with the subway um, jumped over it and didn't use it. And so um, she was really upset about it. But Rick's like, mm, that's all you did bad. And then you went, you went ahead and uh, paid for two, two more turns without going on the train. Uh, all right, I'm in good hands. We're good here. Um, so that was a pretty cool scene with her opening up to him and him kind of sort of feeling relieved about it. Um, then we see the body of Max and the lady is saying that um, there was a small abrasion on his, on his um, index finger and that someone made him pull the trigger. Um, then we find out that Spencer purchased bullets and um but spencer says he didn't know the bullets were in there then um they asked where was spencer the night that max killed himself and max or um spencer was like oh i was with um brandon at such and such place my dad's um little wherever my dad works or whatever and um then they asked brandon the same thing and then they're like almost like Oh, okay, Brandon. So you guys got it all figured out. Your stories all line up almost too perfectly, which is true. Um, it does line up a little too perfectly. And the whole time I'm like, yo, this guy's face is like, I did it. So what? Um, you have no proof on me. And so um, it just continued for me to be like, no, this is the guy. I know this is the guy. And um, so they tried pinning it on April. And April was like, um, that's when April reveals that Donnie, that's the suspect's name. Donnie was with her prior to um, Brandon being with her. And so it was one of those like, I wouldn't go as far as saying jealous, but um, definitely didn't like the idea that Donnie 
Scott April over him. And so they do a little like um a little questioning going on and then uh Castle gets him to admit that he did it. And um it was one of those feelings like ha I knew it. I knew it. Mo-ha-ha-ha. And uh so um there was that the the crime was solved guessed it beforehand so that made me feel good about it and i'm gonna go i'm gonna go um and do that for now on i'm gonna try to solve it out loud prior to um figuring it out but um yeah i'm glad that i got that one right and um then we get a scene with uh his mom and his daughter and um his mom's having a little get together um but his daughter he finally agrees to chaperone for her and all good all um great stuff again i love rick as a father and um i even love rick as um the detective's help um it's really good stuff and um i hope to continue to get more of it and um yeah so far um i'm loving the show i'm i'm very grateful you guys recommended it for me because otherwise I wouldn't have watched it and um I can't wait to continue to watch more and more of it um it's definitely some exciting stuff it's definitely down the alley of things that I like um I love a thriller I love anything that um grabs my attention keeps me there and makes me wonder the whole time who did it and um yeah, it's really great stuff, but that is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions. And uh, yeah, my time is up, and so I will catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Peace.